Konami YY World is one of the games that made me want to collect Famicom stuff. All of those Konami characters jammed into a single game, and it never came out in the US? I absolutely wanted that. Unfortunately, Konami YY World didn't live up to my expectations. There are a lot of rough edges to this game. And while it's not bad, it's also not up to Konami's usual high standards. The YY in the title is onomatopoeia for the sound of a bolsterous crowd. I felt that Konami Watermelon Watermelon World just made things even more confusing, so YY World it is. The concept of the game is that six of Konami's most popular characters have been kidnapped and imprisoned in their own worlds. Dr. Cinnamon, the creator of Twinbee, has recruited Konami Man and Konami Woman to go rescue them. You start out in Dr. Cinnamon's lab, and you have to walk in front of a door and press down to enter it. Door 1 is Dr. Cinnamon himself, who will heal you. Door 3 is where you go once you've rescued everyone and feel like you're prepared for the final stage. And Door 2 is where you access all of the worlds. Each world is based on a Konami game and has its main character imprisoned somewhere in it. You can go to a harbor with a cavern underneath it from Goonies to rescue Mikey, Feudal Japan to rescue Goemon, the depths of hell in order to rescue Fuma from Getsu Fumaden, Simon Belmont is being held in Dracula's castle, Castlevania, New York City which has been overrun with robots in order to save King Kong from King Kong 2, and finally, you can find one of the Moai heads from Gradius on Easter Island. While you can select any stage that you like first, the entrances to three of the stages require that you have a specific character. So at the start, you have to choose between Mikey, Goemon, and Simon. Within the stages, you can wander freely. The maps aren't too complicated, though. Generally speaking, there will be a branch and it will dead end pretty quickly. In every stage, you first need to find a key. Those are often guarded by bosses. With the key in hand, you can rescue the hero. They'll be locked up somewhere on the level, often behind another boss, and you have to walk in front of their cage and press down to release them. Once you've saved a character, then you can use them. You press up and A to rotate through the cast. All of the characters have special abilities that they can use, Mikey is small and can fit into some tight gaps. Goemon can open the chests that you'll find scattered about stages. Those chests contain health refills. King Kong has a higher jump, as does Moai. And Fuma can smash some bricks that block your path. As for Simon, well, he's got a whip. You'll also find extra power-ups around the levels. Every character has a sub-weapon that they can gain. And there are permanent health, attack, and defense power-ups that apply to the whole crew. These power-ups are often placed in a way that requires that you use someone's special ability or an extra power-up to reach them. Something to keep in mind about collecting those special weapons? Characters can only collect their special weapon. So only Mikey can pick up the slingshot, for example. To activate their special weapon, press down and hit A. Then when you attack by pressing B, you'll shoot a projectile. Using that ability costs one bullet, though. Every character has their own life bar in YY World. And if that runs out, then they die. If your whole team runs out, it's game over. You can continue, but only Konami Man and Konami Woman get revived. To bring back anyone else, you have to go talk to Dr. Cinnamon, and he'll send you to speak to his brother Simon. Yes, there are two Simons in the game, but one is Simon, and the other is Shimon. Apparently, Shimon is the Castlevania guy. But that's really confusing, so he's just Simon for me. Anyway, revival of a character costs 100 bullets. There's a real problem in YY World that enemies often do enormous damage to you. We're talking third to a half of your life bar in one hit. So if you're in trouble, you could wind up dead before you know it. Or worse, you could be switching away from an injured character and land on another injured character who dies anyways. 
that has a bad tendency to result in situations where you have to go around grinding up bullets to recover from a game over. You would get pretty deep into a level and then just get chewed up by a boss, and that's it. And the bosses bring me to a really strange problem with YY World. Everything respawns, and those respawns are based on screen position. So you can kill Dracula in Castlevania, walk a couple screens away and come back, and there he is again. Some of the bosses look pretty cool, but they don't feel very special when they're just normal enemies in the game. And that constant stream of respawning can be a real headache. It's a quirk you saw in a lot of Konami games, and in YY World it feels especially annoying. This problem is compounded because once you rescue a character, you don't go back to Dr. Cinnamon's lab. You have to walk back through the whole stage. On the positive side of things, you can get a password from Dr. Cinnamon so that you can continue later on. YY World is a pretty long game if you're not following a guide, so you'll probably need that password. Konami YY World is interesting in that it's the first crossover game where a whole bunch of game characters are mashed together. And since it's a Konami game, it both looks great and has incredible music. But I often found myself getting frustrated while playing. Some of that was due to me having limited time and not being able to go back and collect some extra items. But a lot of it had to do with being put in situations all the time where I couldn't avoid getting hit. This is a very ambitious game that just can't quite live up to the standard of mashing together nine of the best 8-bit games so far. This is a game where you'll go, yeah, this is kind of cool, and then as you play it a bit more, it just wears you down. Konami YY World got a sequel, and it stripped out the action-adventure exploration elements of this one for more straightforward action, and I think that it's a better game for it.